What is up and what is good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sol Cal Shalin. We're in Portland, Oregon, about to attend the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Got our badges. We're only here for one day, so we're gonna make the most out of it. Uh, it's the first time tuning into the channel. Welcome. Definitely subscribe to the channel to keep up with future toy hunting adventures and also pop culture adventures, attending cons and wherever else we go on our travels. Like today, we're at Portland, Oregon for this expo. Uh, it's mostly video games, of course, but we're hoping we can find some toys. Someone in there has to have toys, right? But we're gonna still look around, check out some of the cool rare video games they have for sale. And also they got arcades and thing, video games you can play, all set for free play. So we're gonna walk around, and like I said, we're gonna try to look for those toys, the elusive toys here at a video game convention. Uh, so come along and join me. Also give me a follow on Instagram at SoCalShallon. So uh, let's get this one started. Let's go. Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Entering the exhibit hall. Over here is the arcade section where they got lots of video games and arcades to play. We got their little booth here selling the merch for the event. And then we got all the vendors over here, which is what we're here to check out. Okay, here we got the ultimate guide to the Nintendo library. This was done by Pat Country, the NES punk. If you guys know him on YouTube, we got Norm, the gaming historian, there. We got some of their items for sale. You can watch this stuff on YouTube, and they also sell it here of, at the convention. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ian. All right, this is the Atari Age booth. They have a lot of cool Atari games here, and they also like make custom games, like brand new games for the Atari. Let's see what they got. There's the Atari 7800. This guy is playing Pac Man. We got some old school games. It was the pro system. And check out the Commodore screens. Those things are awesome. You want to find those at a thrift store hopefully one day. So these are all custom games. They make these brand new for the system. So they're still making new games for your old school consoles. Look at this. Pac-Man collection for the Atari. Whoa, this is pretty cool. $55. Dragons Havoc. Even got stuff for the Jaguar. T-shirts. There's some posters of some of the games. We even got you could play right here some games. I already died. I 
side. All right, so the Atari 7800, this is the Pac-Man collection they have here for sale. My girlfriend's gonna play some Pac-Man. Let's see if uh, she's better, she does better than I did on the other game, Wizard World. So this is Miss Pac-Man. Blame the controller. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right, this is an awesome Nintendo. It's a cool Nintendo case where you put your cartridges there. That's pretty awesome. So we got some patches, and then there's a bin of toys here. We got a Kevin Smith Terror Dog. There's a vintage Star Wars. ATS team, thirty dollars. It's missing the canopy. There's a Woody down there. That's probably the best thing here. Is that there's a foot soldier from the movie. That's pretty cool. On how much these are. You could army build these guys. There's no prices on these. Here's a Transformers collector case, carrying case for your figures. I always love this artwork right here. We got the wizard poster. This is an awesome movie. I love it. Uh, let's see what else they got here. We got some film cells here from the real Ghostbusters. Guys, we got some uh, vintage cards here. Tops, Alfs. Flintstones, the movie. Come on, you know you guys want to open these. Terminator 2. Dark Crystal. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Crystal Kids, Mad Mike, in the quest for the stale gum. Uh, I'm guessing this is a video game. Oh, it's a video game. For Nintendo, that's pretty cool. So it's like a custom game somebody made. Yeah, you want to play it? Go for it. So this is Garbage Hill Kids, Mad Mike, and the Quest for Stealth Gun. Brand new indie game for the SNES or the Nintendo Entertainment. My bad. Regular NES. Let's see, so it's like an Egyptian stage. Let's jump over them. All right. Maybe you jump on top of them, like push the buttons, maybe. There you go, you killed it. There you go. There you go. All right, it's pretty cool. cool. There goes the garbage pail or garbage can. Can go down. Go all the way to the right. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in this game, check uh, these people out right here. There's a QR code right there. It's, it's actually licensed by Tops which is cool a lot of these uh homemade games are not licensed by the companies that originally made them here's a here's a famicom the japanese nintendo it's called the family computer it's all yellowed up now though 50 bucks for that pc engine or turbo graphics 16 Here's the Japanese Super Nintendo. It's pretty cool. Lots of games there. You got Atari games. That's cool, the 7800. It's awesome. There's a whole bunch of old stuff this guy's selling. Commodore's 40 bucks. These things are heavy. 
check out this thing. It's another Commodore with a real tiny screen. We got a Super Nintendo. We got some Game Boy games, Popeye. $22, Virtual Boy. Super Scope, Fighter Stick, and the action set and boxes is complete. Some good stuff there. A whole bunch of Game Boy Advance games, and Game Gear. It's like a lot of sports titles. You guys want Josh and Drake? This one's a good one. We got some NES games box. Iron Sword, Fabia. Uh, this is the Retro Bit booth. They have a whole bunch of cool games on display here. I guess they're releasing these. Brand new made, it's awesome. Translucent cartridge. Avenging Spirit for the Game Boy. It's pretty cool that they're doing this. There's Mega Man, the Wily Wars. This was an awesome game. This I remember playing this on the Sega channel back in the days. We actually had the Sega channel for a couple months. And that's the only place you can play Mega Man and Wally Wars. Well, up until right now, now that they got the ROM and put it on cartridge and you can play it on your Genesis now. Or if you have like ROMs, you can play them on your computer or modded game consoles. It's cool. So right. Retro Bit is known for their controllers that they sell. The wireless Sega Genesis. All right, so far, a lot of video games. It is a video game convention, but hopefully we run into some booths that have toys for sale. Hopefully, right, and some collectibles. Now, we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. It's pretty good size. Lots of people everywhere, it's packed. But yeah, we're gonna keep on searching the booths. Hopefully we find someone selling vintage toys. Uh, this booth has a whole bunch of cool stuff. They got like VHS covers turned into notebooks. And then down here, there's actually some VHS tapes. You got Ninja Turtles from the Burger King Kids Club. That's cool. Got a whole bunch of them. The making of Jurassic Park. Oh yeah. That's cool. Let's see. All right. Where's my hoopers at? Pistol Pete's homework basketball ball handling. That's cool. Pistol Pete Maravich. That's awesome. You even got to make it happen. Clyde Drexler and the Blazers. We are in a Blazer country. I actually got some cool basketball VHS tapes here. Larry Bird, Red Arback. There goes a WWE Lita DuckTales. That one's cool. It's the ultimate celebration of your favorite Disney songs. And then what is this? Mouser Size. Look at that. You got Mickey Mouse teaching you some uh, aerobics. Really cool. Okay, we got a couple of... Uh, strategy guys there's NBA Jam that's pretty cool I used to love playing this arcade game and it is also pretty cool on the Super Nintendo here we got a couple of uh, figures here there's a silver hawk he's missing his hat and guitar but for 10 bucks I don't know I wonder if this is worth the pickup just incomplete like this it's not bad We got some more cards here. Two dollars a pack. Jurassic Park Series Two. Here we got some Sega Master System games in box. These are pretty cool. 
Ghostbusters, Super Nintendo, a couple in boxes. It was Mega Man 5. The only Mega Man I am missing in the collection is part 5. But I have all the others on NES. Breath of Fire, that's a good one. There's a box power pad. It's really beat up. So they're asking $10 untested for the power pad. See what this booth has? They got Pokemon trainer cards. And yes, some classics here. You got Paperboy, Rad Racer, Robocop. Goes NBA Jam, Batman Forever, and the newer games for the Vita, Switch. Yeah. This booth has comics on the wall, video game related comic books. See what they have. They have some Mario Brothers comic books, Mortal Kombat, Zelda. That's pretty dope. And Captain N, the Game Master. Uh, this booth is selling like arcade marquees. But that you would find on the top of the arcades. It's pretty cool reproductions if you want to just display them in your game room. Ten dollars each, two get one free. It's pretty cool. And then you got like a lit up VHS. That's funny. There's a droid over there. Stickers, Jaguar. I'm gonna check out this booth has some crazy stuff. An Aquarius computer game system for sale. And you got these uh, controllers for like airplane simulators. What else is here? This is all brand new. Scoreboard. You got the Freedom Stick. Cool stuff here. And yes, boxed. Just the boxes? No. Alright, so we got more games. Like I said, this is a video game convention, so we're gonna see a lot of the same games, the common stuff, but some booths will have some rare stuff like this one. Has some of these Sega CD games. Bomberman for Virtual Boy. Batman and Robin. Those Lunar 2. 200 bucks. Man. It's a great game though. Those buses on Genesis 140. I see a wrestling booth over, or ring over there. There's a wrestling ring, LJN. Let's check it out. It's $900, brand new. Ooh, that's pretty pricey there. Maybe we got a Nomad. And then here's a Ninja Turtle. I have those loose, the Ninja Action ones. But we're on the right track, guys. We've only seen some toys. Not much, but it's something. A lot of Amiibos. Let's see what's this back here. It's a bootleg <laughs> Ken figure from Street Fighter. All right, let's see what this guy has here. We got some strategy guides. From Nintendo.
a bunch of Nintendo powers. actually cool. Some board games are missing pieces. Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong. A whole bunch of old school computer games here. It's pretty cool. Some Genesis games. 50% off anything in this bin. It's Jurassic Park kind of a cool like a multiplayer connector right there an adapter and then we got a whole bunch of different things here everything in this bin is one dollar and two dollars so you got a crystal pepsi what in the hell is this oh, it's a piece of the label for the crystal pepsi a couple of controllers odyssey And then back there they have some of the good stuff, of course, like boxed controllers for the Nintendo. And boxed Nintendos over there, you got the action set and then you got the power set with the power pad. Wall Street Kid. Look at that one. King of Kings. I didn't even see this over here. It's the box for Secret of Mana. This might be worth picking up. I have this game on Super Nintendo. Yeah. Alright guys, so then we see a booth with toys. A lot of video game related toys, but we're going to definitely check it out. Uh, too bad everything's in the back of the booth. Let's see. We got some Mario Brothers. Mario Kart 64. Metroid Samus up there, 450 bucks. A bunch of NECA stuff. Earthworm Jim. Oh yeah, look, check this out, guys. We got some Ninja Turtles on card. These we got, and also a Scare Glow. We got Show. You got the ro the Bebop, robotic Bebop, and then uh, Donatello. They look to be graded. And I see a Silverhawk figure down at the end as well. So this is uh, my boy Vince. This is all you. That's what Vince collects, friend of the channel. There we go. That's all you, man. Scare Glow. What do you think of those prices? They're all graded. 1600 1200 500 650 That's pretty cool. At least we got to see some vintage stuff. Got some cool statues up there and those were probably like displays at some kind of video game store toys r us something those are really cool <laughs> lots of lots of nes lots of mario brothers 3 rescue rangers these are common games but classics well, we are in Portland. Here's the Goonies part two. Okay, we should buy this and then tag him. All right, we're gonna shoot out some of these bins down here. We see a toy. What is this, a Spider-Man? And then what? Down here is a new kid on the block. Yeah, so I was saying I just, I just stick to those bins and find like control. We got Joe. Joe, isn't it Joey? New kids on the block. <laughs> 25 bucks sorry guys if it ain't jordan i ain't getting it <laughs> but anyways let's see what is this oh we got some shoes for cabbage patch kids we got some do we got some toys here let's see what they got we got some gi joe savage gi joes if you guys have ever seen these i don't think i have ever seen these they're a lot bigger than your average gi joe 1994. Well, they got a whole bunch of them. It's all the same dude. Oh, here's a different guy. He kind of looks like M. Bison. Comes with a compass. It gives you a loss. 
real monsters. Same guy. Cool. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of these G.I. Joes. I've seen these. Sergeant Savage. Alright, so we find here some vintage lunch boxes. Chip Chip Bang Bang. Sesame Street. Back to the Future. Got Batman, Ghostbusters. My Little Pony. There's also some vintage toys we're gonna check out right here in the bin. You gotta squeeze in. These boots are packed everywhere. We got real Ghostbusters. My Little Pony. That Muppet Show is awesome. Right. Check it out. I did. I checked some out. It was a vintage speak and spell. That's really cool. Let's see what else is in here. Care a lot. 70 bucks. I think that's way more than those things sell for online. Let's see what else is in here. Care Bear, twenty bucks. Oh. That looks like a what? Like a tablecloth. Like table Keep digging down there. What is it? The Cabbage Patch Kid. All right. So all those toys are way overpriced from what I saw, what I've seen online. Uh, here we got like a Family Fun Fitness mat. The ever popular Pikachu N64. Mario Brothers Telephone, that thing is awesome. Pricey, pricey, pricey. Congress Bad Fur Day. Here we have some video game related figures. I don't negotiate on prices too. Buy it from games. Hell no, $88. Right. Way overpriced. Five. You can get that one on card for that price. Here we got some cool Nintendo games. You got Jetsons, Wings World, Earthbound for Super Nintendo. $400. Jesus. Remember when you could buy that game for $100. Boxed Pokemon games. Okay, here's an awesome Nintendo 64 case. Very cool. $69. I don't know about that, but cool to see. Here's that Levi's Mario jacket. <laughs> Master System. Let's see. Uh, this booth has an awesome Xena, vintage Xena jacket. We got that embroidered X. It's like a sword. Yeah, that's been 60 bucks. It's really cool. The back patch on this jacket is awesome. Check that out. Fully embroidered. It's cool. It's like a nylon jacket. Very cool. I'm not that big of a Xena fan, but it's cool to see that. And then this booth over here has a whole bunch of uh, cheap stuff for a dollar. Pez. You got some games. Let me see. What are these? Oh, these are new adventures of He-Man. Okay, guys. I think we might have uh, found something. Quick, guys, you know who this is. What's his name? I'm gonna search in here, see what else we can find. There's a Mew, Mew 2. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back. Let me see what else I can find in here. A lot of good stuff. There's a Mortal Kombat Jade figure in box. Lord of the Rings. 
Yeah, I thought it was like an e homebrew on it. Yeah, it's worth something. These are cool stickers. I'm surprised to see it mixed in there. Voltron. A lot of people don't know. That's oh, I know. Zelda. Like, what? <laughs> Does they still make the memory card adapters? Actually, a very simple circuit. It's Make one. The virtual boy, what was so about that? power gloves. Uh, here's the booth that has some horror related action figures. We got some Evil Dead stuff here. Old school movie maniacs right there. Evil Ash from Army of Darkness. That's cool to see. Wishmaster. And then you got some box games there. See what's around the corner over here. They got some more like video game accessories. You see a Pong. Nintendo 64 bag, that's really cool. That's really cool. I just found one of these for one dollar. Uh the four though, the sports one, similar to that at the flea market. You got like a battery. For Pong. Here's a really cool looking booth with some vintage systems. There's another one of those Pongs. $100. Atari 2600. This is the one I had as a kid growing up with the wood grain. I probably had like 40, 50 games for this, for that system growing up. But of course, uh, I had that when the, when the Nintendo was already out. So Atari was a thing of the past at that point. So I was a system behind. My mom used to get the games for like a buck at garage sales and flea markets. But I had, I had a lot of fun with that Atari before I actually, when I actually got the Nintendo. Like I said, I was a little bit behind, but it's all good. I had a great time with the Atari. What else do we have over here? We got some cleaning systems. It's pretty cool. The little Emerson TV is really awesome. $55, it works. Color TV as well. That's the only one I have. I can probably try to bring a few more in tomorrow. A lot of weird little things for video games. A lot of weird accessories. I have other small ones. I got... I got about 10 to 15 other small There's Dr. Mario. Okay, here on the Soul Cow Challenge channel, we don't only like toys, we also like vinyl records, anything physical media from the 80s, 90s, even 70s. And I do collect uh, vinyl records when I find them for good prices, something that I want for the collection. Cooling the Gang there for five bucks. This one has the song Celebrate. See what else they got? Jeff Beck for five bucks. That's some good prices. Lisa Hartman, check out this '80s awesome cover. Look at that. Jerry Lewis. It's over here. Pink Floyd. Momentary lapse. Building on the rock. Got some good stuff here. Hawaii Five O. Joe Wash, awesome. Guitars of the Eagles. Let's see what else. Lots of good stuff up in here. I don't know if I'm going to take anything home unless it's something that I really must have. But I'm going to look through here. Those Star Trek ones are cool to have the soundtracks to the movie. Here we have more physical media music cassette tapes. These are coming back big time. CDs are out because the tapes are coming back in. We got Dr. Dre the Chronic for 40 bucks. Tupac Greatest Hits for 40. All Eyes on Me. Ozzy Osbourne. Blizzard of Oz. Yeah, they got some good stuff here. Pearl Jam 10. Love this album. Talking Heads. Lots of good stuff. And then over here we got a bunch of VHS tapes. We'll check it out. Highlander, the director's cut. Yeah. 
I think I might buy a couple of these. Santa Claus. Oh, they found that other side. That switch. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. He's picking up some good ones right there, Lost Boys. ACDC. Big Show. Over here, Young Frankenstein, great movie. Star Trek stuff. Dark Crystal, 30. That's a good one right there. Yeah, it might not be. That one actually. Saw this in theaters when this came out. Very cool. We got limited run games. They make awesome games for the assist, all the systems. The newer ones, Switch, PS4. Yeah, we don't have any copies. A lot of times these games are download only, but then they bring them out physical the physical games you see here which is amazing because when it comes to digital downloads you never know when they're going to take them off so you don't actually own them that's why i do not like digital downloads of anything movies music video games try to get the physical versions even if they cost a little bit here's castlevania collection it has all the castlevanias from all the systems in one Scott Pilgrim, that's a great game. Got Zombies Ate My Neighbor. Quake. River City Girls. Doom. Do you guys have a. Alright guys, we might have found the action figure booth over here. We'll see, we'll get a closer look. Actually, a whole bunch of these booths over here got action figures. It's a lot of board games. Oh, $50 for that. You just got that one at Target for eight bucks. Wonder why they're asking 50 for it. That thing was on clearance. Here goes Turtles. $20 from the 2000 series. See what else they got anything good we got the happy days board game let's see strawberry shortcake we actually have this one at home i think it might be a different one we have like two vintage strawberry shortcake games at home and i've been thinking about doing a series with the family where we're playing vintage board games what do you guys think would you guys like to see that it's in the works i'm thinking about it i gotta get the whole family on board though <laughs> Uh, what else do we have over here? A lot of video games, art. All right, here we got some loose figures. Finally, we're getting into some stuff, guys. Let's see. 40 bucks for him. This is dope. We got Super Shredder. 25. Mm. This is the one where the shell opens up and you put all his weapons in the back we got most of these guys already Sagi Ojimbo I, I think these are the Jim Lee turtles right here that's Michelangelo Seraton 30 these are more of the more common ones which we have I do not have these these guys are $15 the ones with these weird looks I don't know the exact names of those, but they have a pretty good selection here. Here goes the this is Make My Day Leo. I actually have them. $15. I think it's a good price. It comes with a gun and a shield. Hmm. That's a maybe, guys. We'll see. I mean, I don't need to have doubles. There's another one of those Jim Lee Donatellos. 
nothing Anita has. These are the hard heads. So well as this one, that's a hard head as well. So next door we got a couple of multi stuff, Cobra Khan. $20 for this weapon. Here goes Beast Man with the yellow armor. Hmm. Merman. Grizzlor for 20. Ninja, no accessories for 15. I wonder if that's a good price for that one. Shira, I think this is Frosta. Frosta, I believe that's who that is. Zor for 20. Okay, over here we have Panthor. We got Claudine from Shira. Orko, no accessories on Orko. Leech, that's some good. Uh, some good loose figures over here from He-Man and Turtles. Might have to look through this bin. You never know what you're gonna find here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something great for a good price. Here's a uh, 20 bucks for that one. I'm gonna keep on digging, guys, and I'll let you know if I find anything good in this pile of toys here. <laughs> Before I do that, let's see what else they have up here. There's Amigo Robin. He's missing his shoes, so he's barefoot. We got some vintage uh, turtle cards. The movies, we have a whole box of this at home. We're going to open up eventually. Turtles. More turtles from the cartoon series. That's cool. Penguin Amigo. We got some newer stuff. Spawn, Legends of Batman. Catwoman, yikes. That's cool, Cuphead. Battle of the Planets. Lunchbox for 40, that's cool. That was an amazing cartoon. Battle of the Planets, Gotcha Man in Japan. Very cool. There goes a Toy Biz, Peter Parker, from the Spider-Man line. Spider Power is half. Mass has not. A couple, here's a couple cool VHS cassette tapes. Captain Power. This was a weird toy line that use these cassette tapes to play with the action figures. Here goes uh, Power Rangers. This is a cool one, Gargoyles. Kind of has like a cool shiny art, as you can see that. That's pretty awesome. And they're asking five bucks for that. So guys, you keep digging and you do find stuff. Here's some Cowboys and Moon Mason stuff. Figures. I think I have this guy already. And you got two good ones here. No accessories, but $10. It could be worth a pickup, guys. What do you guys think? No, like I said, no accessories, but cool to see those guys there. We're going to keep digging once again to see what else we can find. This booth has a couple action figures, like a whole bunch of spawn. Let's see what's on this side. We got some Toy Biz X Man, Toy Biz X Man, Ice Man, Deadpool. They were asking 40 for Deadpool. We have him already, but it's cool to see. Let's see, and then lots of video, lots of DS stuff. Let's see what else we can find over here. We got some big pieces over here, big old halo. Display, Donkey Kong 64 display. Here's a Mario Brothers lunchbox for 30. Trash cans up there. Nintendo 64 sign. Ten thousand dollars for that. Crazy, crazy stuff. 
Alright, I am out of the Portland Retro Game Expo. It was fun. We did find some toys uh, to add to the collection. Uh, some pretty cool finds, and uh, I'll show you back when we get home what those pickups were. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Holland merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white black or any other color that's available here for your liking we we'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs i had made for conventions like the ones you see here and even have stuff for the ladies and check back often as i'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time merch store link in the description below to order your scs logo shirts today Welcome back everyone. It is time for the pickups part of the video. But first I want to say Portland Retro Gaming Expo, fun time. Uh, this is my third time coming to this convention. Uh, mainly I use it as an excuse to come to Portland, Oregon. I love this city, it was awesome. We have some cool side trips we did while we were here. We went to Astoria, did a whole Goonies Adventures film location movie, which you will see in a later date. I uh, want to edit that footage. And yeah, it was a great time. I hope you guys, hopefully you guys uh, follow me on Instagram at SoCalChallen, because I've been posting pictures there of uh, my trip. Uh, and that's what you can expect from uh, Instagram, you know, just pictures and things in between videos. So you can see what's going on uh, in between the YouTube videos. Uh, but again, Portland, Richard Game Expo, fun time. Uh, I was only there today, one day only, which is Saturday. We have these cool uh, little lanyards here with the ghost from Pac-Man because they were celebrating like its anniversaries and stuff. So awesome, awesome event. It was very fun. Lots of arcades there to play. Also for free pinballs as well. The event was sponsored by Whatnot, which I'm sure all of you guys have probably used at least once. 
uh, but it was cool. So they had these bags, they were getting them out for free, which came in handy for the pickups. And their booth was also real cool. They were giving away prizes. They had a, a spinner wheel for prizes. They had like uh, vintage cards, like Topps cards, Nintendo, Donkey Kong, stickers, video games. And all you had to do was show them your whatnot app, make sure that you are a user, that it made you click on it, and you got a free spin. And luckily for me, I landed on the one spot for video games. And I ended up picking up this for the Switch, the Snow Brothers Nick and Tom Special. So if you know about Snow Brothers, it's a very rare game for the Nintendo. It goes for quite a bit of money, but it's also a fun game. A lot of the rare Nintendo games that go for a lot of money suck. Uh, but there's very few that are really good, like Snow Brothers. And Little Samson is probably one of the most expensive ones, but it, it's good. Uh, but this is cool. I got so I got this for free from the one night booth because I landed on it on the little spin wheel, which is cool. Thanks to one night for that. So that was the free pickup. I also picked up these shirts. One of the booths has a whole bunch of like promo shirts uh, for five bucks, which was pretty cool. So this is an old PlayStation polo. It's like a long sleeve polo shirt. It's pretty cool. Everything embroidered there. It has like a three-tone color black gray white long sleeve very cool very thick it's probably from like the first playstation playstation one because i also had playstation two three shirts all promo shirts i got from you know being a video game store they had a whole bunch so i picked that one up and also picked up this one playstation one like a denim blue denim short sleeve shirt very cool has the embroidered playstation one logo on there you know some multicolored which is pretty cool right there on the brass and very cool it was from like a national merchandising conference in las vegas patch right there so very cool so these i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with these i might maybe try to flip them on ebay or something uh, we'll see try to make a little money if not they're cool shirts to keep right all right the, one of the first toy pickups i picked up here came from a one dollar box this booth has a whole bunch of uh, little bins full of uh, $1 items, all kinds of items that were like little cheapy toys, cases, a few action figures. And I was digging and this guy caught my eye. I knew right away he was from the New Adventures of He-Man because I've seen him before. Uh, I just didn't know his name. So his name is Hydron. He is missing. It looks like he comes with like a, like a, a helmet, like a clear helmet because he's like a diver, I guess. Looks like he has some fins. And then he has like a breathing apparatus and, and a weapon. Didn't have that, but he was only a dollar. So this is a very cool pickup for a dollar. I have He-Man and Skeletor from the New Adventures, but I've been wanting to pick up like other figures of these. Very cool, New Adventures of He-Man. So I'm gonna definitely be looking out for some of these guys in the future. But I mean, for one dollar, you cannot, I couldn't leave them behind for one dollar, guys. Even if it's just the figure by itself with no accessories. I draw on right here from New Adventures of He-Man. Right, this next pickup was a small pickup, but a very cool pickup. Um, I picked it up at John Hancock's booth. He's a big uh, YouTuber, video game collector up here in the Pacific Northwest, Portland area, Seattle, I'm not really sure where, but he's big. If you watch Metal Jesus Rocks YouTube channel, that's where he started coming out. And uh, that Nintendo, there's a Nintendo 64 collection there that was in the museum. They had like a video game exhibit museum. That's all his stuff. He has a complete collections of a lot of games, uh, 64, like Genesis. He has a crazy collection. But anyways, I bought this from his uh, booth and it was fitting because it's a Miss Pac-Man. Very cool little figure. I don't know who makes these. Is it Tomy maybe? Let me know. I actually have Pac-Man at home already. So it was cool to finally pick up Miss Pac-Man have a little companion piece to Pac-Man. It's cool, like you wind it up and it moves. Come on, it was working earlier. There we go, just gotta move my hands. My fingers are blocking it. So it's very cool, so it rolls on the on the table or floor and then you had a little ghost there that it grubbed on. So it's very cool, little, you know, piece. I like collecting uh, video game memorabilia, a little merchandise, especially Pac-Man, I love Pac-Man. I have a couple Pac-Man items at home. So this is gonna sit next to my Pac-Man wind up toy over there at home on top of my old school TV where I have my retro video game. So it was cool picking up. This is like five bucks, so pretty cool. 
Uh, these next items I picked up at a booth that had a whole bunch of VHS stuff. They had like some cool notebooks. They use like VHS covers and use them as notebook covers, which is pretty cool, pretty creative. Uh, he had a box full of VHS tapes you probably saw there in the video. And he was selling them all for like $3 a piece. Uh, picked up a whole bunch of Ninja Turtle Burger King Kids Club cassettes. Ended up getting four. I uh, got them all for 10 bucks. So cool, like remember guys, if you go to conventions, flea markets, toy shows, whatever, always try to do deals. Uh, you know, always ask for a lower price because there's a lot of times these vendors will be willing to work with you on price. And uh, especially if you buy more than one item, they'll give you bundle deals. So always try to, you know, go, don't lowball on this stuff, of course, because it, it's not cool. But definitely, uh, you know, try to work with them on the deal. Something costs like 20, maybe offer them 15 or something I take it you never know oh, but yeah so I ended up I asked him would you do these for for 10 bucks and sure enough he said yeah so we got some cool ones this is April Foolish so these were from the Burger King Kids Club which is pretty cool hopefully one of these days I'll make like a little VHS section at home I've ever had time and room Here we got Sky Turtles very cool this is a great Bodini. So it says there's four of them. So the only one I'm missing is Invasion of the Turtle Snatchers. So I need to find that one because this fourth one is not part of the Burger King Kids Club uh, VHS. This is actually one put up by FHE uh, for sale. This was Heroes in a Half Show, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, 41 minutes runtime, so I'm not sure what episodes are on here. I wonder if these are like the first ones, the first few episodes. It's 47 minutes long, but it's cool. It's awesome artwork on these VHS cassette tapes are so awesome. And I already have, I have a, I've been buying VHS tapes since I was young, when they were still around, like a thing. So I have a box and box full of VHS tapes. Uh, it's insane. Come on, kid, bid. a real mind here. Ah, now this is in Burger King by Storm, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle videos. Awesome. Collect four adventures you won't find anywhere else. Three forty nine dollars each with any purchase. Prices may vary. For a limited time, only at Burger King. The last item is my favorite item. It's another, another Ninja Turtle item. This time it's an action figure. It was hard trying to find action figures there, toys. It is a video game convention, but I was kind of hoping maybe there would be more vendors selling toys. Uh, but there was, but we did find some stuff here and there. Had to dig deep, and this is my favorite one. Uh, one booth was selling this, uh, and that is the Ninja Action Cartwheeling Karate Donatello in box, unpunched. Very cool, everything brand new, never taken out. Weapons are still unpacked. Tied down. This is a very cool looking box. That artwork is amazing. Uh, the guy was asking $40 for it. I looked it up. The last sale of this on eBay was like $85. Bucks. And then like a loose one's complete self. Anywhere in the, in the 20s. Right? Um, I asked if I could get them for $30. The guy said, how about $35? I took it. $35 bucks for a vintage Ninja Turtle in box. And this one is a cool one because it's it's a box, not like a card back, which is very cool. And that's because he's a real bulky character. And I already have I have all these guys already loose at home, so it's cool to finally have this one or, or one of them in the package. Anytime you can pick up carded turtles, vintage ones uh, for good prices, definitely do it, man. These are awesome pieces of art. So you keep them in here, and you know, people are always looking for these things, man. Collectors, so. I'm happy about this. It was midnight in the city, and the foot were up to no good. They thought they were too many for the turtles. Time for ninja action. Ralph does a forward flip and delivers a smashing kick. Don does a crashing cartwheel. Leo does a flying somersault. Mike lands on his back and jumps to his feet, sending the foot into defeat. Ninja action turtles are a lot of fun.
unless you're the fun. Be sold separately from Playmates. All right, everyone, and that is it. My pickups from the Portland Retro Game Expo. Awesome convention. Had a lot of fun. Uh, one day is all you need there, I think. Uh, but it, like I said, it was fun to get to play video games and uh, everything. They have everything. Video games, pinballs, vendors, shop. So it's awesome, fun time, guys. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for all your support. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up with all my future toy hunting adventures and also all my pop culture adventures, like the Goonies coming up, and then some other things. There's going to be more videos, too, from the Portland Radio Gaming Expo uh, as well coming up. So stay tuned for that. And also give me a follow on Instagram at SoCalShowin. Uh, good luck on everyone's toy hunts out there. Catch you on the next hunt. I am out.